Hi, my name is Frances Silva and I'm a midfielder for the FC Kansas City Blues. I was born in Caracas, Venezuela and I moved to the States when I was about two and a half years old. Uh, my family moved to Colorado, so my dad could do his MBA at Colorado State. Uh, and then when he was done with that, we moved over to Overland Park because he got a job with Sprint and obviously it's headquartered here, where it was. Soccer, I think I pl started playing around four. Um, I'm a year ahead in school and my parents may or may not have done some things to get me on the first grade team. <laughs> Basically, in Venezuela, the way you write months and years, or, and like your birthday, is the day, then the month, then the year. And here, it's obviously month, day, year. Um, so my information all said, you know, 0 to 11, 1992. So here, they assumed that meant February 11th, even though it actually means November 2nd. They didn't correct anyone, so they just, it, it worked because it allowed them to play, play me on the first grade team, even though I was technically a year below them. But I was in their grade. I just wasn't quite old enough to technically play. But, and then once, you know, once you're in it, then they don't really check your stuff anyways afters, and then you're fine. When I was in high school, um, I was getting recruited by a bunch of different places. Um, I, didn't, I decided I didn't want to stay local, didn't really want to go to any of these big 12 schools or you know, Colorado, Missouri, any of that area. Um, I wanted to try to get away as much as I could and uh, ended up taking a visit to West Virginia and falling in love with it and um, had you know, four great years there. Uh, but then obviously once FC Kansas City came calling, I was pretty pumped to come back. Uh, it was one of those things where I think I initially wanted to leave because you know, I felt like I had been here my whole life and you know, I wanted to try something new. But once I left, I kind of started to appreciate what I had here in Kansas City. I think this team has a great dynamic in that from top to bottom, everyone is, uh, you know, they're close. Everyone's friends with each other. And uh, maybe it's because everyone lives in the same apartment complex or maybe it's just the people that you're around. I don't, I'm not sure what it is, but this group is very close and you know, the core has kind of come back in the two years I've been here, it's kind of been the same group of people. So, um, you know, they're just great people to be around. I would say the best part about being a professional athlete is my, my, bro my younger brother's friends think I'm really cool. <laughs> he likes to brag to my younger, to his friends, and uh, it's kind of funny, and it's, it's funny to me because I laugh at him, you know, for being silly like that, but it, it's cool to see that younger generation kind of think that you're some big deal and I'm like wait well I guess I, mean, I guess I am a pro athlete. Kansas City has always been pretty big soccer at least in the community I was raised in I guess um, you know Overland Park tends to be probably a little bit more soccer than the norm um, and it was great I loved it uh, I just remember always you know having games out at Heritage when those fields were the only fields around or the polo fields or wherever it was and then you know my junior, senior year, they built the Overland Park fields, and th that was amazing for the growth here, and you could just see that people were really interested and invested in building soccer here. Um, my high school, soccer was one of the biggest sports here. It was actually, you know, tennis and golf and swimming we were very good at, but it was the other, you know, mainstream sport that, that was the main sport that we were good at, so um, soccer games were always really fun, and people were always packed in the stands and everything, so I always felt like Overland Park had a very good soccer community and seeing how Kansas City as a whole has embraced sporting and FC Kansas City is just great and it's a bigger representation of what was always going on here.